Hello everyone and welcome back to Agrarian Skies 2. So last time we left off we had just finished making some new bees for our node. Now been uh, upgraded to a bright node and used to clean aspects slowly one at a time. And eventually it will be really awesome and fun. Until then, uh, we need to be able to move around whatever we have to do with it. So the first step to doing that Hopefully, getting more nodes in the future. Oh, I can't see the one in the. Oh, I can. Paint, but it's there. Uh, so the first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to make a method of moving it. Now, Thumbcraft does have its own method for moving nodes, but it has a chance to damage the node. And while we do have those bees capable of fixing it, I feel like you know what? Why? Why? Harm it at all. So, first things first, we are going to make ourselves some pillow posers, which allow us to move uh, blocks around the uh, life essence. We're going to need detail position. Each require a tier 4 altar, which was the entire purpose of us building the size that it currently is. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. Let's put in the pearl in there. I think these are consumed in making pillow poses. I'm not sure. Actually, that's the problem. That's fair. Uh, so I need six gold. Test to see if it consumes the telepos the teleposition. I'm hoping it doesn't, but you never know. Uh, so gold is okay. Gold. Actually, I have plenty of gold. Fine. Crafting tools. Put up, put You. Yep. I was pretty sure we had made these already in this series, but I couldn't find them anywhere, so I'm just gonna assume. I have not gotten them. Right. That makes this a teleposer, and it does consume the teleposer. Lovely. Alrighty, so we're gonna need two more, because I need a focus all by itself as well. More for focuses, and more for the. I'll grab the gold right now as well. May as well. Lovely. Anybody who's watched my Feed the Beast Infinity basically what I'm working to right now. It's it's relatively simple. These blocks just allow you to move a block directly above them to basically another telepose. So I put one of these under a node, I put one of these under where I want the node to go, and then I apply a redstone signal and it moves one together. I need teleposers. Perfect. Something I should also be working towards. Probably do this sooner rather than it's cursed earth. I think we have division sigils in here, don't we? Division. Yes, we do. The question then stands: Do we have either we? Those two spells super heat. Although I guess our current blood altar setup is well, apparently not at an extremely super. I don't know if I use that. Regardless, teleposers. So what you do is you put a teleposer down, 
tune the focus so that it tells you which teleposer you want to be linked to. You put it in other teleposer, so link this teleposer to the one that I just found this link to, so on and so forth. I'm, however, going to link current to owner, current coordinates 000, zero, zero, so put this link to Not that it would work anyway, but I also need a teleposer. Not a problem. I'm going to. Honestly, I would like to work on. Maybe we'll get to that. Because eventually I'm going to put a well of suffering on Blood Altar. I'm not going to have our Wither Farm. Although I guess I could just use a grinder. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, I'll I'll get to work on a withering off camera. So there we go. We have our teleposers. Now the question is where do I want to set these guys up? And I think my best option is to go out this way. Good idea. <laughs> I also need to I still need to find a block type for here. Still not sure. Oh well. We'll sort it out eventually. Alright, uh, in the meantime, yeah, let's work on putting out a Now, all my other floors operate on the principle that it's too high door, right? Too high. One by two. Goes in. Three. But I can fit stuff between the walls if need. It's been a while since we've been sections. Got tons of bricks. Probably not enough to make a whole floor. At least get started on one. Basically, tr going to probably split off that section to probably want to split it off into energized node room, the staff room, Very good question. A focal manipulator room. I suppose I could put that with the staff. Have that loop. What else requires? I can't think of much off the top. Magic apiary. I don't think this. Oh, for for the advanced alchemy furnace. Get there. Oh, I want that in the. No, I want that in the. I think I'll split it up into five rooms. I have a central room where the energized node will be on like a super pedestal. And it'll divide down into five different rooms. Or to four other rooms. This room. Where it'll eventually feed into our crafting table. We make a we made a scepter, right? Capacity one. Pretty awesome. Alrighty, so uh, how wide are these?
11, 12, 13, 15, 17, 1, 2, 3. Thirty thirty one. Uh, I assume it's thirty one by thirty one. Although I think I messed up on the power rush. Eleven, twelve, one. Oh, did it. so thirty one out. From block six. Have uh, this between the walls, this A wall. Just so we don't get it. corners wherever you can okay so one okay so 49 minus 50 minus 31 19 yes come down to 19 blocks And yeah, lovely. Okay, now for the size, I can just space. Basically, stop when this. Void is so blue, isn't it? All right. All right. Now we go this way. Essentially the same thing. Lovely. Alright, so that's going to be the general size of this upcoming room. Uh, you know what, since I've already put the walls down on other side. Yeah. Plus I had one strenuous brick to burn. That'll be the size of this room. I'll keep building it off camera. I wanted to show you guys the general layout of how it's basically gonna look like every other building in here until I find uh, building blocks that I prefer. In which case, then I'll start using a wanted equal trade to swap them out. But sure. Although, actually, the walls with wires in them currently have facades on top of them. I'm probably gonna leave as stone bricks. Not gonna lie. This doesn't. Probably. Down to odds. Alrighty, so since that is now done, I think I want to do I'm gonna wanna set up automation tool should have done a long time ago. Kind of just lazy. I'm pretty sure I could get a setup that basically just uses the same pipe. Why is why is Nick Cage in my test rack? Oh 
my god. Why? It must be because of April Fool's. I'm recording this on April 1st. And I assume... I assume that whoever designed the Tesseract built it in so that you would see... Oh my god, that is horrendous. Nightmare fuel. Nothing wrong with Nicolas Cage, it's just seeing many of his heads fill an infinite space that goes on, black nothingness of the void for all eternity. Kinda terrifying. Uh, a <laughs> little bit. Uh, so, anyway, uh, <laughs> that's really throwing me off here. Uh, I can automate the reactor mic. Okay, what do you guys produce? Because you produce way too much stuff. You produce the memory combs and the crystal pollen. All of this stuff have space to roam. I don't have anywhere to store these, so I'm going to put them in the thingamabobber. Scientific instrument. Although, I guess the centrifuge was. First centrifuge was probably paper. I think the art of making honey is older than. Uh, chemistry. I don't know. Because farming bees isn't all that complicated. Well. For the most part. I guess a beekeeping is. Kind of a little bit more advanced than the rest of the thing. But for the most part, it's basically just a box. Bees in it. Part of the box just needs to have certain textures and shapes that allow for uh, easier construction against it. All in all, my parents want to get. As soon as they buy like a 14 anchor <laughs> lot of land out in the middle of nowhere. I guess they have their trail. Still, whatever. Eventually be cottage. Anyway, um engines got me sidetracked. I need to choose a project. Uh we should probably you know what? I feel like I could finish off a section of the quest book. I think last time we were gonna look at a table, a cook oven, a fridge, a sink. Get some of these. So cooking. Cooking table takes a cookbook for blockheads too. I have. Then black stained clay specifically. Interesting. Uh, how do I make black stained? I never made it. Okay, so it's just hardened clay around a piece of black dye, just like this. I have. Hardened clay. Eight of these. So. Yep. And it was wood logs, right? Wood. Uh, tool rack. Four or three pressure plates. Iron. Easy lemon. Iron. I have a spare pressure plate. Left side. Not. Why not? Okie dokie. Multi block kitchen. I suppose I could use this space for something. Mm. 
wonder, is there a specific way you have to go? Ah. Really? So I can just store everything in the kitchen and like in the fridge and everything and oh my god. Amazing. So we have that. It's three up top, down below. I said, but one up below. Kitchen, mm -hmm. bathroom, table. It allows me to cook with what I have in my inventory. I'm not down. Oven. Furnace with black stain. Stained. Stained. Stained materials. Why? Okay, then what was it? Iron? Thunder furnace? this furnace cooking oven I wonder if I can probably So, uh, cooking oven, fridge, bucket of water, logs, and problem. Probably gonna consume the bucket of water. Bucket. What was iron? Three. Bucket. They're not playing. Logs. Did get the bucket back. Awesome. Alright. Sink down. Okay, next is the fridge. Last. Chest and an iron door. That is surprisingly simple. Two. Chest. Also gonna put it. All right, down. Can't nothing to do. Fridge. Oh, oh, it has a nice. Oh. My god, I can create water because I have a sink. That's actually really amazing. Okay. Uh let's just wrap up this quest because we're out of time. And we got bottles of it. Go, the dough is in there. Make bread now. That's really awesome. Okay. Uh, but yeah, that's going to do it for this one. So thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed all that fun stuff. As always, if you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like, leave a comment. Any and all feedback is very much appreciated. And I do love hearing from you guys. It also helps me out. Bye.
actually. Actually, if we. No idea. That's going to do it for this one. I will see you all in the next one. Bye for now. <laughs>